All right, here we go. We're watching Christian Gonzalez today. DB for the New England Patriots. We locked in on him. We're going to see what he's doing throughout this game. This tape is all passing plays. This film study is developed, is dedicated to him. And we're going to watch, we're going to watch him throughout the game. We're going to see how he played. I heard he had a good game. I heard he was locking down all over the field. We're going to find out today. For time purposes, we're going to keep it moving. And if he, if he has no work on the play, we're going to just keep skipping through. Like I said, we're only going to focus on him. If I see something else, I'll speak on it. But let's go. Here's Zero right here. He's inverting. They roll Peppers down. Drop in Zero like a too high safety. Good footwork. Smooth, under control footwork. He stays on top of his man. There's nowhere to go with the ball right there. Plays his own well. The deep over route comes open. He gets the man out of bounds. Brandon Ayuk with the catch. Heard he only had two catches this game. It's what caught my eye. They said he locked down Ayuk. So I had to watch the film. We had to see what's going on. We're going to get to the bottom of it today. I like this right here, though. I like how they drop him as a two safety. Invert Peppers down. That's another player who can do a lot of stuff for you. Get creative with your players. That's what good coaching staffs do. Are right, we right here? Are we up top? Man coverage. He's running with the man. Number 19. What y'all think? There's space to throw the ball there, but he's right on them. There's space to throw the ball there, but he's over the top. You rally down, you make the play. It's not going to be blanket coverage on every play in man. It's, it's hard playing man coverage. You got to be in position. You got to make it difficult for the quarterback. You have to close the windows and make the quarterback want to do something else with the ball. We have top. It plays out like man on kettle. The pages are running some type of bracket defense, as you can see with the safety right here, turning his hips and looking for incoming routes from the field. He's going he gonna to wall the field off and rob any route and jump any route that he sees. They're bracketing. So for zero up top, it plays out like straight man. I love the technique. He maintains his outside leverage. When Kettle presses his leverage, what does, what does zero do? He widens out. He stays in his pedal, but he keeps his leverage. He widens out. When Kettle breaks up field, he's in the same spot he was pre-snap. There's nowhere to go. Right off his hip, Purdy runs around. You got to plaster your man. Purdy's going to run around. He's going to look for the open receiver. He's crafty. That's one of the best parts about his game. He knows how to keep plays alive. He's a player. I like Purdy. He is a player. All right, here we go. Here we go. Zero's right here. He's in a slot. Man coverage on Debo. There's some space there. He's right on him. There's some space there. Like I said, it's tough. It's tough playing, man. They're asking a lot from you. One thing about defense, especially DB, these receivers rotate in and out. They're running different plays. That DB is going to have to buckle up and battle the whole game. And it's hard to cover someone who does, when you don't know what they're doing. That's, that's a lot of energy. We watch it so much, you forget what goes into it. You become so used to it. Great eyes. Great route by Debo. It's like a boxing match. Who you going to give it to? Who you going to give that round to right there? It's tough. It's tough. Who you going to give it to? It's super tough, man. Who are you going to give it to right there? Sometimes it's these 10 9 rounds, 10 10 rounds. You can't tell unless the ball goes to the man. It's that close sometimes. Other times, you can see it from the beginning. You can see it throughout the play. It plays out who won the play. We got Gonzalez versus Ayuk right here. Man coverage. Once again, the Patriots are playing that inverted look with the safeties. Not a true inverted where they're bringing them down, but they have them sitting low. They're anticipating these crossing routes, these underneath routes, and they're letting their, they're letting their corners play Straight man with no help over the top. Let's watch zero. 
See, on this play, you can tell this is locked. There's nowhere to go with the ball. Maintain his leverage. He gets out there. Eyes are directly on Ayuk's shoulder. There's nowhere to go. Great play. Great positioning. He's locked down. Plaster your man. Purdy's going to get out, make a play. Keep, he keeps the play alive. You have to stick on your man-in-man coverage. You, you lose him, bad things happen. They're going to make a play. Got to stay active. Let's go. Let's keep going. Now we're in the red zone. Five-yard line. Did y'all see that? Right there. The hand motion combo. In and out. These two have these two. It's man coverage. They're playing in and out. You're going to have to find the right fit. Not the right fit. You're going to have to find the right man. Regardless of how they wind, it's not how they line up. It's how they wind up. Right here. 11 motions out. Splits the, trying to split the coverage, confuse them. They know they're getting man coverage. This is a man beater. This is a great route. I mean, this is a great play call. Great scheme by the 49ers. Shanahan knows what he's doing. But watch zero. He tracks it all the way back. Great eyes. One yard game. What a play. That's why I love to see DBs do. Stay on your man. Get there. And then finish the play with a tackle. Great play. Look at the play call right here. First, they start in this tight little look. You see, they have the outside linebacker wide. He has to respect the run. He can't get hooked. So they got him wide. If he lined up right here, it would change things because he could easily get hooked. They could toss the ball outside. Now the DB's going to have to make a tough tackle one-on-one. There's no edge. The, the, all your help is inside. You have to set the edge. What the 49ers do... They come in, they fake the zone to the right. All, all the motion, all the play is moving to the right. So what they get from there, they come back. They're trying to make this man right here, Gonzalez, get lost in all the trash underneath, get stuck on the linebackers. He flows over the top nicely, great eyes, boom, makes a play, one-yard game. Great, great play. Great play. Teach tape type play. See, see him communicating? You have to communicate on the field. Zero talking to the other to the corner, the safety actually, who's outside. One's his new man, great eyes, gets around. Great play. Where we at? You're right here. He's locked in. Great eyes. Nowhere to go. Great eyes, nowhere to go. Look at the eyes. Right off his hip. He don't, there's no need to look at the quarterback. You and man coverage. Just lock in. Lock in. Play your man. There's nothing to worry about. Nothing else to worry about. You locked in on man coverage. Let's see it one more time. Real quick. Let's pay attention how, how Zero gets his hand on receivers at the line. Is he jamming them? Is he catching them? What's he doing? What's the technique? What's the technique he's rolling with? All right, here we go. Quarter change. Zero's up top. Zone coverage. Looks like cover three. No work to his side. His number one blocks down. Which causes him to look up. The new number one coming to the flat. He knows he doesn't have the flat. He sinks. He sinks. He's about to play the deep cross. You can tell that the, the Patriots were expecting the deep overs, the deep crossers. Because they're sitting there waiting for him. They're sitting there waiting for him. They're playing him. They have a good feel of what's going on. If he would have threw that ball, he's right there. He's right there underneath. If that ball's going to IU, he's right there to make a play from the backside. That's how they always get those backside interceptions. 
when a quarterback doesn't see the either the safety or the outside linebacker, in this case, the corner who's sitting right there. It's a perception thing. He's in the right position. He doesn't get the ball. A positive play. Right here. No work to his side. Zone coverage. His man, his man, his number one blocks from the beginning. That frees him up. He just sinks. He sinks. He's looking for the deep over. If this ball is going to Debo, it's a pick. He's in right, he's right in position. He plays his zone, his side of the field. He's locked down. There's nothing there. Something small that I like. When Peppers carries Debo over, he sees zero. He balances up. He drops the man off to the next zone. He balances up. Even though there's no work, I just like the little, you know what I'm saying? Defense has to be in sync. You got to be together. And if you're not, that's how you're getting beat. Purdy, once again, plugging, keeping, trying to keep the play alive. Nothing there. Inverted look again. It rolled Peppers down. The dropping Gonzalez looks like the two shell. And we get it again. Here's the two. Look at the footwork. Look at the footwork. It's smooth. The pedal looks smooth. His man is not getting over top of him. When you do deep half safety, you got to play with the man underneath you. Anytime you do deep safety in what zone, you cannot let the guy run by you. You have to respect the speed. Get out your pedal when it's time. You can tell by demeanor when it's time to run. Great play. That's a plus. Peppers tried to come in clean. Who is that? Peppers tried to come in clean. Jen is up. Boom. Almost. This is the Robin. This this I'll speak just speaking of about the backside player Robin. This is a great throw, though. Great throw by Purdy. Let's see it from the back angle. We can see it better. Quicker from Peppers. He could have been there for the pick. That's a very, very difficult play, though, for him. Inside the numbers, more than likely he wouldn't get there. But he goes for the kill shot. He misses. You don't have to, you don't have to do that. Just get him down. But, man, if he would have connected, that ball would have shot out. This would have caused a turnover if he would have connected on this play right here. Either a pick. I don't know if it had been a fumble, but the ball would have been jarred out, though. That would have been a major impact play. Zero's up top right here. Man coverage. Outside leverage. Right in phase. No panic. Great tempo. I don't need to look back. I'm playing you, man. I'm playing through you. I got no work. I have work, but I have no issue. On the other hand, let's look at this linebacker right here, 48. Right here. 48 has the back, man. He gets the angle route. He runs over the top. You can't do that. You have to go off the running back's hip. The angle right here is going to kill you every single time if you create that much space. A lot of times the running backs have an option to go in and out. Right here, the angle beats him over the top. I mean, he runs over the top. He creates he creates too much space over the middle. Makes it too easy for the back. The back comes. And that's too easy. And another thing I don't like is 48's effort. You got to run to the ball. You got beat. You should be the, you should be running the hardest out of everybody on the field. If you get beat on the play, I'm, I'm expecting you to run the hardest out of everybody on the field to make up for it. Can't go over the top. You have to go underneath this receiver. Slow play it. Do whatever you have to do. You have to go underneath. You have to be on the hip right here. You have to create a wall. If you create this wall, he can't come inside. If you'd have walled that off, I don't think this was an option route. The way he ran this route does not look like the back would have. 24 runs the ball tough. I'm not saying he's the greatest. I don't think he's the greatest receiving back out the backfield that I've seen yet. Maybe he is. I haven't seen it. But like I said, Gonzalez, good on this play. 48, poor effort. You got to run to the ball. You can't get beat like this in jog and run, bump into your man, stop running, jog. It's a potential touchdown. They got lucky to get the flag that got called back. 
You get beat on the play, you gotta bust it. You gotta run. It's on you. We up top. We up top. Look at zero. Good communication for the play. Outside leverage. <clears throat> Outside leverage. He's playing. He's playing with his vision through the receiver to the quarterback. The, the coverage is not as tight with this with this technique right here. As he, you can see, his eyes right here are on the receiver, but he, you can tell he's looking through the quarterback. When the receiver breaks, his eyes are still in the backfield. Is there space to throw the ball? Not quite. Maybe a little bit. It would take a hell of a throw. Great anticipation and a lot of trust if you're going to throw that ball right there. So he's not in trouble. He's good. He's in a good spot. When the receiver breaks outside, he just squares up. There's nothing coming inside. If it was to come to his side, he had to put his foot in the ground and just break on the ball. That's a win. That's a win. Any position, not just DB, but any position, you can mix up your technique. There's more than one way to do things. All right, here we go. Next play. Where's zero at? Right here. See? Hold up, let's go back. This is the first play where his eyes inside get him beat. Before, see his head right now, he's looking back to the quarterback. Before, he was 100% focused on his man. He didn't look at the quarterback at all. It was plaster coverage. He was locked down. Put your seatbelt on. Right here, he looks back into the backfield, and you can tell something's up. He feels that something's up. I don't know what he feels. But he's looking back at this in the in the quarterback, and he's beat right there. Look at the separation. If Purdy had time, that's a touchdown. Even with 55 right here, right? 55 is there to take away the angle for him to throw the ball, to make it difficult for Purdy. You want him? To, he's there for body positioning. The coach is not expecting him to really make a play on this ball. He's there to deter Purdy from throwing this ball just by being underneath the route. But right here, there's enough space on the outside for that ball to get down right here. If, he, if this ball comes in this area right here, uh, it's an ugly drawing. Let's go. This box right here, let's throw a little box. I can't draw, but y'all know what I'm talking about. If that ball is thrown right there towards the pylon, that's a money play right there. That's a touchdown. But it's all based off the eyes of zero. He gets lost in coverage. IU comes up at the top of this, at the top of his route, gives him a little something at the top. He throws him by. He's open. Look at Zero's positioning. This is the worst position we've seen him in all day so far. That's one play, though. You're playing against good guys, man. Even when you're good, your opponent is good as well. That's why you have to be great. You got to be great on every play. Look at Purdy. He keeps the play alive. Touchdown. You have to plaster your man in coverage. You can't leave your man. Once again, 48, I'm not sure what you're doing. I'm not sure what you're doing. You can't chase you can't chase a man who's active like this. You gotta stay, you have a man in, when you have a man in coverage, you have to stay on your man in coverage. Cause when you give it up, it's bad news. Touchdown. Another flag. He gets saved again. Two times he gets saved. Luckily. <laughs> Luckily. Let's go. Let's keep going. Here's Zero right here. This time he's on Debo. He's manned up. Let's watch his eyes. Let's see how his eyes look this, this, on this rip. From the beginning, much better eyes. He looks back at the Debo's posture, his demeanor. He relaxes. He looks back. He can tell the ball's not coming his direction. But from the beginning, much better eyes. He's fully locked in. Right there, he's fully locked in. Debo throttles, his hands are on the receiver. He's in good position. When you're in good position, you're under control. You can look back. You can't get beat from that point. You can feel the man is good. When the receiver's in phase, he's running his route. You can't look back. You can't do that. But great recovery from the play before. Learn from your mistakes and keep going. Purdy's trying to get loose and make a play. Nothing there. Zero's up top. Once again, with the technique we saw earlier, 
He's playing zone. He's playing off. He's looking through the man to the quarterback, feeling, feeling the receiver, playing off the quarterback's eyes. Not my favorite technique. Let's see. It's zone, though. I think he could have played this a little bit more through to the receiver. But I understand what they I understand what they have going on though. They're anticipating this crossing route. Even though his man is right here, the whole team is looking for these crossing routes. I can tell it was drilled in meetings. Look at the safety. He's waiting for that crossing route right there. His whole demeanor, he's he's parallel to this, his hips are parallel to the sideline. If he throws his route to Debo, it's a knockout. Well, if he throws it early, it's a touchdown. If he throws it right now, I'm not sure what these three up top are doing. They're beat. If the ball crosses the field, the safety can help out. But from the beginning, if Purdy lets the ball go right now, it's a touchdown. He's going to catch this and shoot. Touchdown. These three right here. Let's go back. Let's go back so we can see it. I know it's about zero, but I like talking ball, so let's talk some ball. You feel me? All right. These three, one, two. Two, three. Have these three. Okay. They should have. They should have had a plan and talked it out. Anytime receivers are close, you got to have some type of plan. You either got to. You either have to lock it or you have to go combo. But there has to be some type of communication before the play. They drop this cross. I guess it is his own. Is it match? Is it bracket? I don't know. It's playing out weird. But this man's wide open. Looks like it looks like a zero look with a robber. Looks like a like a one like a cover one robber look. But either way, I know that these two guys aren't supposed to just drop one underneath. There's no way. With no presence. But let's say they do drop it though. Let's say it is man. Let's say it. Let's say it's man and they're dropping it and they're playing to the next zone. Let's say it's man and they're dropping it and playing to the next man over, right? There's no communication between these two. Debo comes out from one to three. No one communicates it. The outside, the outside corner prays it back. He's in position. 24 stops running for whatever reason. 25, he's completely lost. Purdy finds him right there. Kettle gets crazy with it. High points the ball over three guys. Even when you're close, you're too, you're too far behind. Being on top of that route was the only way to stop it. When he got behind y'all, it's over with. High pointed, great play, great throw. Zero's right here. Let's keep going. Good pedal. Yeah, they're doing a lot of bracket work this game. Look at the safety right here. The bracket in this receiver right here. Just cover one. Gonzalez is playing over the top. Eyes on his man through the quarterback. Outbreaking route by IU. He's on it. Zero is on it right there. Look at his feet. Throttles down, comes back. Nowhere to go. Nowhere to go. You can say Purdy could throw it to the sideline. It's going to be a battle to get to that sideline. It's going to be a race. Because IU didn't just come out screaming out of his break either. Third down, you off the field. I'm not quite sure what why the running back and the, the receiver will be right there, but great, great play by zero. You off. The inverted look once again. We get the inverted look. We see Peppers roll down before we got the two. But this time we get a blitz from Peppers. Zero's over the top. The safety is rolled down. Anticipating the crossing routes. The dig. The deep. Um, the deep dig. I said it two times. The dig. The over crossing. He's anticipating that. That was their flavor of the week as a defense. They, they were going to eliminate that deep cross. Zero is in great spot over the top. If 11 were to keep going, he's right there. He'll just play with him in phase. 31 on the other side. 
I'm not quite sure what you're doing. It's the same technique on both sides. He lets Debo run right by him. Now zero, go make the play. Go make the play. He gets knocked down. Let's see if in this angle, if we can see anything. Good play by zero. He did a job. We down here this time. Zone, cover four. His number one gets jammed by the outside linebacker. He's jamming the wrong person and ends up getting himself beat. 55 happens to be inside 24 right here. You're the wheel linebacker. You got to play inside two. He gets lost because one is so tight. He's not looking who's outside of him. He's lost in that. And that's why the defense is so open. It's a bust. Great, great matchups everywhere across the board except for 55. Sam pushing out underneath one. The mic is pushing out under three, going off the hip of two. He's in a good spot. He could be tighter, but with the eyes of a quarterback right there, the mic's in a good spot. You don't have to go already out there. The quarterback is looking back. 55, you have to be inside of 24, walling that off. You walled it off, there's no play. Zero has no work because his man is getting, that's really, a, yeah, I'm about to say, it's really a penalty. Let's keep going. I'll see you from this angle real quick. Just for learning purposes. All right. See, just like the angle earlier, if 55 is right here, he walls this off, there's no route. But it's literally the same play from earlier. They just got to it in a different set. They beat, they beat them in man, and they beat them in zone. Lucky, though, because that, that, that defense, the call would have beat that play. They executed it wrong. Zero down here at the bottom. What are we getting? Looks like some type of zero. Now it's that inverted look again where they keep the safeties low. They have them playing underneath routes, letting the corners play over the top and running. And great play by zero. This is the first time he's been challenged on the, when he's been over the over the top player on the outside. Same thing like a man player, like a man, like it would play like man. He's had no safety help. So it's like zero for him really over the top. But as you can see, he's running. He gets out of his pedal. Let's see. He opens up. He's running from the beginning. He maintains his leverage, cuts off the route. And what I love that he does, he makes a play for the ball. It's not even close if this is pass interference or not. Look at him. He's focused on the ball. There's nowhere for the receiver to go. Great play. See the top of the route from this angle. Look there. Close the gap. There's nowhere for the receiver to run. He locates the ball. Even if he wasn't going to catch the ball, he made it look like he was going to catch the ball. No penalty. Great play. He's up top right here. I love how he's all, he's all over the field. He's lined up on the left. He's lined up on the right. He's everywhere. Man coverage on IU. The coverage gets him beat. The play call more than actual his technique. I mean, more than his ability. He's running away from his, He's running away from the technique right here. He's running across the field. This is a hard, hard play for any DB, any coverage guy, linebacker, safeties. When you're in man coverage, you have out whatever leverage you are, and they run away from your leverage. There's not much you can do. You got to just chase. You got to chase. His eyes are on his man. He's right here. His eyes are on his man. He's running. Your man catch the ball, tag him down. Good play. They're going to win, too. You can't win every single rep all the way. You can't eliminate every play. But this is a win when you do your job and you prevent something big. It's still a win. Man coverage here up top on Debo. Nowhere to go. Could he have forced it in there? Maybe. But he's on his hip. He's right there in phase. He's on his hip. There's not much space. He could have thrown it into the middle. Yes. But what you're doing is you're forcing the quarterback, you're forcing Pur you're forcing Pur Purdy right here to make a perfect throw. Forcing Purdy to make a perfect throw. A lot of P's, a lot of... Got me out here sounding crazy, right? But look at zero. Is he open? It looks open. But what it does is you have to throw the ball perfect. You don't have to 
be a blanket every play. You have to be there and to deter the quarterback from throwing the ball to your man by being close, in zone, in, in phase, in the right zone. Even in man, you have to be in the right spot. You know what I'm saying? Zero's at the bottom. Let's see. Let's see what we got right here. Looks like a double slant. Someone ran the wrong route. Something's wrong about this. I don't know. Maybe they, I don't know. It looks like someone ran the wrong route right here. They're really close right here. Both of these guys are really close. Let's go back. Even right here, Gonzalez is in the right spot. He's expecting help from this linebacker right here. He's expecting help from the backer. It's cover one. 50's off the quarterback's eyes. The quarterback's eyes are in this area right here. He should be pressing to this zone. If 50 plays this window right here, not only does he, he might get a pick, if anything, he's going to knock the ball down, though. That's where, it should, that's where his eyes should have brought him. The eyes of the quarterback should have brought 50. Zeros off his hip. Outside leverage. I think he's in a good spot. If the ball goes to Ayuk, he's in a good spot. Expecting where his help is and his leverage on the inside. That's a good play. Even though it looks like Ayuk has a, has a step on him, he's in a good positioning. You're going to see it right here from the end zone. Watch 50. He's cover one. These two. Him and him, 50-48, they have the back right here. They have this man. So when he presses to the field, 50 automatically balances up. Now he's off the eyes of the quarterback. He has to be a little bit faster and close that gap. Good coverage by zero. He's on him. Bad throw by Purdy. That should have been a pick. Got to make it. Got to take advantage of chances. You don't get them all your way. Make the plays when they come your way. Zone coverage right here for zero. No work. As you can see, they're running some type of underneath screen for Debo. He passes underneath. Zero has no work. Let's keep going. Quarter change again. So I think what that's the fourth quarter now. We have a few more plays. You know, the, the 49ers won this game. It's, I don't think they threw the ball as much late. Like I said, this is only the cut-ups of the passing plays. I'm sure you know that by now. In case you're just now turning in and you want to skip to the ending, for those who don't like watching movies throughout, this is what we're doing. All right, zeros up top. Once again, that look where the safety is rolling down. Let me draw it up so I can show you all. This man, ooh, this man right here, this man right here, they're rolling down. They're coming up right here to eliminate this, this, this. They're, they're, not, they're not all going to run that at the same time. But whatever route is underneath, they're playing for those routes underneath. That's what Purdy's comfortable throwing. That's how the offense is built. They're leaving guys like Zero on the outside to play man and be over the top with no help. So they're expecting these corners to take their receiver and play them man with nobody over the top. And when you're expected to do that, you have to be running with the receiver. You can't get beat deep. Zero is in great spot. And look what he gets. What's that? How many yards is that? Balls on the 30. 5, 10, 15. That's like a 19-yard dig route. Mm, even it goes even deeper, like a 20 yard dig route from Ayuk. So that's what the Patriots were expecting the whole time. That's why five is there. That's why 21 is there. They're expecting these deep digs, these deep overs, as we kept seeing. That's why they're rolling the safeties down. But with that, they're expect they need the corners to play over the top. <clears throat> they need the corners to play over the top in this situation. I, uh, Zero does his job on Ayuk. Jennings gets loose on 31, on 25, and runs by him. It makes a hell of a catch across over the shoulder. Let's see if from the other angle we can see it better. What a catch. 
That's a hard ball to catch right there. Great throw. If you ever play receiver or you ever played, if you ever played catch outside and someone throw you a ball like that and you got to find it over your opposite shoulder and catch the ball while you're running, that is a tough play. And I want to see Zero finish this play right here. He, he did everything excellent. I don't want to see him run by, the, run by the receiver who's still on his feet. The one chance that IU, I mean, that Jennings does not fall, if he keeps his feet right here, it might be a touchdown just because Zero ran by the play. Luckily, he gets tripped up. No harm, no foul. But just for reference, anyone who's watching this, you get in that position, just make the play. Always anticipate the guy's going to be on his feet. The, the play is not over until the man's on the ground. Never relax. Zone coverage right here for Zero up top. Cover two. You see a two high safety. So Mike turns a run. He don't have an immediate threat. He sinks. Zero right here. He passes number one off. He finds his new his new work. He's playing it with a little inverted drop. His back is towards the receiver in the flat. Instead of getting into his true pedal, but he's in position to break. He just had to get out quick. If he going if the ball goes to the back, he had to put that left foot in the ground and burst. He's in, right, he's in good position. 44's route is dead. There's nothing there. Good play. All right, here we go. We're right here. Man coverage. He's locked on the receiver. The linebacker's locked on the tight end. Right off his hip, nothing there. Blanket. Definite win. What a play by Peppers. Y'all see that? This looks like they're playing the bracket coverage again. The safeties are bracketing the tight end and the fullback. They're letting these corners work by themselves. But Peppers comes off and makes a great play right here, right there. Look at that. Great play. High points the ball. Great play. High points the ball and goes and gets it. Purdy thinks it's zero. He sees these safeties leave. He thinks it's zero. He sees that corner right here, 25, is running with 11 by himself. He does not anticipate Peppers coming back. Peppers drops right in the zone, picks it off. If Peppers not there, that's a touchdown. And that's not even his play to make. That's just being an athlete and locking it down. Watch zero. Great patience, great eyes. His man gets jammed at the line by 99. Route, he gets rerouted. But look at his eyes, right on his hip. It's over with. Great play by five. Caught Purdy right there. All right, where we at? Where we at? Where we at? Zero coverage. No, I'm sorry. Zero in coverage right here. Man. Inside fade route from IU. Great eyes. Great hands at the line. One of the, one, one of the few times we've seen him get an actual jam today. A lot of other times he's been using his footwork at the line, flashing his hands, but not really getting hands on the receivers. But to, right here on this rep, he gets hands on. He's right there. Good body positioning. Nowhere for the receiver to go catch the ball. Incomplete pass. Incomplete pass. Great body position. Over the top. I love how he cuts the, the receiver's routes off. We saw it earlier on the deep pass. Right here once again. The receiver's going to have to run through him to make this play. But he's looking at the ball. He's playing the ball like he's a receiver. And he has every right to do that. And when that's going on, they can't do nothing with you. 